Hello guys and welcome back and in this video we'll talk about creating a Firebase application. So let me just quickly go through the Firebase console. So I'm gonna type in console.firebase.google.com and this is what the Firebase console looks like. Now I'm already logged in but if you're not then it will ask you to log in and then once you are done then you'll visit a page that looks something like this. Now I can create a new project here by clicking on this button and I can name this project as my sample project. I can also edit the project ID if I want to but I, I won't do that right now. And then I can select the country or region. I'll select this as India. and I accept the terms and conditions and then I'll click on create project. This will take some time to uh, get created and let's wait for it to be done. And once this is done, then it is going to take you to the project. You can click on this continue button right here and then this will take you to the project. Now this is the dashboard of your project that you just created and here you have all these different tabs. So uh, the Firebase services are, uh, are broken down into four tabs basically. The first one is the develop tab wherein you can use authentication, database, storage, hosting, functions and ML kit. Then you have the stability uh, section wherein you can use tools like Crashlytics, Performance and Test Lab. Then we have analytics that has all these things like dashboard events and audience and all these uh, features. And then finally we have the grow tab wherein you have predictions, AB testing, cloud messaging and things of that sort. And all these uh, services are also available right here in the discover tab. So you can click on get started on any of it and that will take you to its documentation or its section. If I click on get started right here, then um, it takes me to this authentication section. And this is where most of our time uh, would go throughout this project. So here is the user section wherein it will have a list of all the users that have authenticated through my app. And these are all the sign in methods that are provided. All of these are disabled by default but to enable any of them uh, that we'll be doing in the in the later sections of this course. And then these are a few templates like the email address verification template which has an email that will be going to the user. This is the password reset template and these are all some other templates that we have like SMS verification and things of that sort. And then we have the usage section wherein we can see uh, the services that would be used by us. All right. And one important thing to note down here is inside the dashboard itself. And these are the configurations for our Firebase project. And these are the configurations that we will be using in one of the applications that we built on our front end. So, that was it regarding this. In the next video, we'll create an Angular application and we'll set up the Firebase project inside that Angular applications. So I'll see you guys in the next video.